is reliable who carries the information that was given to him the same as it was given not diluting it hallelujah look most of these big guys that you see if you go to the house the gardener is active and you go the garden is sharp the gardener has a steward who called him or he is made to understand that this is your job every day meeting the garden make sure that it is well designed the cook you cook you take care of the children you would think that nobody is everybody is on, on uh, is, is is working by a certain uh uh, uh robot you know there's a, a steward there's always a steward who says it driver seven o'clock you have to get so by the time the boss gets ready he has already gone to say park the car by the gate boss will be coming out then he goes and um, at 10 o'clock we are getting visitors from uh, the airport driver number two 10 o'clock you have to be at the airport and then he says when they come then he tells the cook he goes to the cook the visitors are coming everything must be ready somebody is putting all of these guys in their right positions to do what they can do that's the steward hallelujah yeah. look at what he says in a, a new living translation one of those uh, uh translation he says that one now a person who is put in charge as a what as a manager you be surprised the way things work in all the banks when you go to a branch the branch takes for the branch manager he's managing the affairs of the branch and everything is in order you are wondering look he has instructors and he's obeying instructions and he is a prototype of the name are you listening to what i'm saying yeah. he is a prototype of the main and you see the same thing that when you go to the mother branch or the mother the headquarters you see the same thing happening in the branch are you listening to me yeah. but how can we have such managers the principal requirement i said the principal requirement Amen. for these people is that they must be what faithful they must be faithful. The one thing required of such servants is that they be faithful to their masters. I said they be faithful to their masters. The one thing, the one thing, uh, the one thing, the one thing, is the one thing, that one thing, is the one thing, the one thing required of such servants. The one thing, the one thing, it's that one thing, and that is loyalty. That is loyalty. That is somebody who is constant, who is trustworthy, dependable, reliable, one who can be sent. One who is dependable. That one thing. Such stewards, such stewards must be loyal. How can these great things that God is doing in the life of a first generation founder? How can these days be sustained? It can be sustained if God finds us all faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. Another thing I said about sustaining this great mighty work that is being done in our life is that God is saying that there are fifth columns we must fight. Fifth columns. I told those here who are here the fifth columns. Me, they are these are disgruntled, disunited people within a group who always try to make sure that the enemy would be able to enter. Hallelujah! Amen. Look, if anybody would destroy this church, it's somebody from within. Yeah. Listen to me if anybody would destroy this church, it's somebody from within. Jesus said that the prince of this world cometh, but he has no part in me. Hallelujah. Amen. What he's saying is that if this church will have men of God who are God fearing, I am not talking about God pastors who, a God fearing pastor who 
sit under the feet of God and is fed by God. Look, the devil cannot attack such man. If anybody will destroy this church, it will always come from within. Jesus Christ himself made that statement that a man's enemy are the people of his own house. In Micah chapter 7 verse 6, Bible says the same thing. That the son-in-law shall rise against his father-in-law. And a man's enemy are the people of his own house. For the son dishonored the father. Oh, may we not dishonor our father. Amen. The daughter rises up against her mother. May we not rise up against our mothers. Amen. The daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Abuabakawa. <laughs> Listen to me, church. Look, the devil will not destroy this church. Amen. But you and I can be the disloyal, disgruntled people who will be complaining and talking. And they are talking about it. And look at the kind of And we pay the And we pay our And we pay our And we And we And And we And we pay And you don't even have facts. Most of the things that people say, when you go into it, you realize that they don't have facts. Do you know where he got it from? Do you know why he drives that particular car? You don't know. It's because of some of the way people think and realize that some things that you won't see. I said because of the way you think and you, you do your thing. There are some things many men of God will not let you see. Because you 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 you, 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 you don't think right. Why didn't you? Instead of you, uh, why do you right? Why didn't you? 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 <laughs> it's because of that. Because you see, you should have been motivated when you see the blessing that God will bless you. Look at what happened. Look, look at go back, go back. Huh? I'm, I'm going back, but let me show you something in Mark chapter 6, verse 52. Look at what happened in Mark chapter 6, verse 52. Listen to this. The Bible says, For they considered not the miracles of the loaves. The same Mark I was reading, these people that belittled God, belittled Jesus, and made Jesus look like nothing, that Jesus could not do miracles in the place. The Bible says, For they considered not the miracles of the loaves. Remember Jesus Christ performed miracles, feeding 5,000 men. They have forgotten them all. If you can remember that Jesus fed 5,000 men with uh, five loaves of bread and two fishes, if you can remember, you will not even speak the way you are speaking. When you were sick, I was there. When you were, you, you needed help, I helped you. If you can remember the things that God has done in your life, the things that the church has done in your life, you will not do the things that God. Listen, the Bible says that. Listen, He said they consider the miracles of the loose for their heart was hardened their heart was hardened may we not get there yes. I said may we not get there yes. instead of you to rather appreciate what God is doing in the life of your pastor what is God what is God what is he what are the two talkers? Cast up body. And when you do that, you see, when you do that, you are cutting yourself from a bigger blessing that is yet to come. For their heart was heartened. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's not get there. And that's my prayer for we in Kodesh and Richard Gubiashi. That we will not get there. Amen. Never shall we get there. That we, we will look at what the brother, look at, look at, look at it. We never had a chair. Now we sit on cushion chairs. We used to sit on hard, rock, uh, uh, plastic chairs. Sometimes you sit on it and it breaks. 
They were even broken. Some of you were sitting on it two, 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 two in one. And you cannot remember those things. You cannot remember those things. You are rather saying that. Uh, <laughs> Do you know how these chairs came? I have no idea. Instead of you to keep on, I should have to be this year. I know what is that. What is that? One who it. Do you have an idea how these chairs came? If you knew it, and if you knew how it came about, you would rather do more. You if you even thought of it. That you ask yourself, I make brand in the mirror was I'm not doing much. I'm not doing much. If, if you knew how they came around. Uh, high traffic. Well, that's uh, high traffic and carpet. Or, you don't even know the carpet, this type of carpet. You don't know the value of it. Do you know what, what you went into getting this carpet here? We could have bought another carpet by now to be flat. This carpet was, do, do you know how much it cost? Do you know where the money came from? Ask, ask them. Ask them whether we take any money from to go and buy these things. You don't know. Eh? Ask them how they come to Toto. Why they want to chase car? Want chase car? They want this car. This car want to buy a car. But they are not here. Hey, do you know how much this car cost? Right here. Don't bring yourself. Don't bring yourself. I said, don't bring yourself. Don't let your heart be haunted. Don't bring yourself at all. In fact, like my son these days, he says that be serious. <laughs> Ronnie says, be serious. These people they are not serious. <laughs> I don't know where he learned that. He <laughs> so they are not serious. What are they doing? They are not serious. That's ah, this myself. Everything is not serious. <laughs> I think so. They are not serious. Be serious. No, no, they say, what are they doing? He's watching cartoon. He said that, ah, look at them. They are not serious. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I'm driving, I'm driving, and I'm here from behind. Be serious, be serious. Let <laughs> me see, be serious. Look at, look at them. These people, they're not serious. Hey, be serious. <laughs> Hallelujah. The third thing I shared. And I will continue to share a couple of them and close. <laughs> is that the love of God will fill the church. Hallelujah. Amen. I said that the love of God will fill the church. Amen. If the love of God fills the church, the church becomes a good place to live in. The Bible says in John that he says, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. If conditional, if ye love, one another. Hallelujah. Amen. If you will love one to another, if you will be able to love yourself, you see how can these mighty words are happening? Kodesh, Kadesh, Kadesh, and all of those things. As it grows big and the church is becoming big, if there is no love in the church, will the people stay? Nobody will stay here. There's no love. Look, the Bible says in Psalm 23 that the sheep, they go close to the still waters. No sheep ever goes to a water that is boiling, it's, it, it's raft, rafting waters. No. Put it there, Psalm 23 verse 2, the Bible says that, He made me to lie down in green pastures. He leaded me, hallelujah. I said, He leaded me beside the what? Still waters. A church that is there are turbulence. When you look at the people, you enter into the choir, they will fool. Hey, 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 what kind of church is this? The choir, everybody is fighting in there. When you get there, they say, No, I don't belong here. You can see. To the bishop said something. Let me say that one. He said, Up to today. You know the people he plays golf with? He doesn't play golf with Bishop Oko. Neither does he play with Ben Johnson. Neither does he play with any of the other bishops and has, you know the people he plays golf with? He plays golf with Bishop Adi and Bishop Saki. These three of them. 
it's a power form. So the hierarchy of the church, they are together, full of love. They cannot be broken. Ever since they've been together, love has bound them together. Oh, put your hands together for Jesus. Kaswa, you know, when they told you to, if they tell you right now, go and start a church in Kaswa, I said, ah, you don't like me. I don't like me. They told him to leave Kodesh. Today, first love is mega with multiple churches. Now, when you see that example by your father, and he tells you that, T, I think you should go to Kaswa. Take some of the people and start the church there and let's see. Today they are a mega church. With a mega Kodesh church. They see it like Kodesh. Bigger and more beautiful. It's more beautiful. If I show you the picture, I'll have the picture. Look, the auditorium, man. Charlie, what do you look at it? Charlie, top lighting system. Shot Saki. Top of the ring. Not to talk about Bishop Kati. You also told the master. Also, Bachi Mota at it. At the heart of Bachi Mota. As we talk, his church is just finishing. And all of them, Bishop Adi, Bishop Saki, and Bishop uh, uh, Da, the most electronic, and they know him, the one who likes electronic and likes digital stuff, is Bishop Adi. Yeah. Hey. So he is doing his church. But when you enter, you we'll say, yeah, 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 this is it's an electronic church. <laughs> it is an electronic church. And you see, because of the love that was shared amongst them, I said, because of that love, they are all doing well, and the church is flourishing. May the love of God dwell in this place. I said, may the love of God dwell in this place. I was telling you something that many of you don't know. That the things that look, I go beyond uh, Reverend Anthony, even to the wife. It is a relationship that for me I value. You know why? One, first of all, because I want to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. So everything I will do to save this relationship is very important to me. Number two. For the church, for God's church, anything that would make a, a relationship like that destroy, I will fight it. Are you understanding me? If you say anything to me about him, I have not heard. And you can you can come and tell me anything. I have heard some things that they said this, that, that, but nobody is able to come to me. Nobody, no, nobody can come to me to come and say you are reporting. Bishop uh, Reverend Anthony to me. That his principle. Oh, I concur. Say I concur. You know I concur. That he is principled. That he will say it the way he is. Uh, uh, Reverend Anthony, the way he says everything, he says his straight out. Oh, that one. I concur. Say I concur. If he, he, no, he will not change, he will not bear. Reverend Eddie will take his time and say, No, oh, different me, it's different him. <laughs> and I concur the way he does his thing. Yeah. So yeah. If you have a certain idea and you don't like it, then you don't like me. No, no, no. no. Yeah. If you don't like the way he does his thing and say it straightforward, yeah. then you also don't like me because it means that I am being too lenient with you. That is why you find him so hard. I agree, I concur, I stand, I satisfy, and I sit on it. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, it's, it's very crucial, it's very important that the love of God. Do you know how many times I'm not able to do many things that he does for me? Do you know what he does to cover me? You know, you don't know. You don't know. For the church, you know how many things that he does that I cannot do. No, you don't know. You don't know. There are many things that he does. I, 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 look, I, I just, 
don't have the ability to do it. Because there is so many things that I am entangled in. But like uh, uh, Lehman said, is it Lehman? Uh, um, uh, the guy who said that if you continue to do this alone, you will die. Jethro. Jethro said, that, look, Master, Moses, the way you are going about this thing, if you continue to do it, you have become one man doing everything. You will die, Ajeman. That's why God, by the grace of I went to for this. I, I, they said they were taking him. I said, No, I went to the chauffeur. I said, You can't take him away. They wanted him to go. Do you, you want him to go? No, 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 this one, I beg you, leave him. Leave this one like that. I beg you. You, 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 you be my brother. You see, you be my brother. I have, I have my own weakness. This one is the strength. Don't, don't let me, don't let, don't let me be exposed. Yeah, don't let me. Because you see, one, take for instance, I will, they will say present data. I will not present it to <laughs> But the time I finished that service, yeah. and the reason why you see, I will even give the job to you, and you will not be able to do it. Right. Let me tell you, in all my ministry, from the days of um, Jonah Chapel, um, um, Portis, what do you call them? Portis, they were called Daniel Chapel. Yeah, all of them, I had the 30 people who covered me. I always have people who covered me because you see those things called data and things. I was there. I've done it. I need someone. That's, that's how it works. I can't that's come. Uh, these people must take offering. I can't come and do this and somebody. Uh, have I been? I can't do this thing that they are doing. Even if I can do it, I can possibly do it even better than they are, than they are doing. But I won't go and do it, Massa. I won't do it. That's why God has given me faithful. Loyal people who do it. That's what happens to that one. Yeah. Ah, you think that I can't sing? That can't I sing? Yeah. Even the key that I wear, she, she can't sing those keys. Yeah. It's too hard. When I pick those keys, I, I see she's struggling. Then I said, look. Because look, I have sung before. I can sing. But listen to me, church. I won't sing. I have Claudia, I have Richard, I have uh, Bafo, I have Portia, I have Forgive, I have uh, uh, Built uh, Bless uh, Princess. And for all of these people to do it, do you have no idea how it felt for me when I was saying, when this boy was, by the way, it was paining me. Prosper. Oh, it was paining me as, oh, Prosper. I didn't know you were going to leave us. I didn't know. I didn't know. It paid me. Can you see? I come here and I will come and stand here and I play the bass guitar and come and preach. Oh, Masa. No, 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 no. No, no. He, do you know that Bishop that he plays the keyboard? Yes. He said he plays keyboard very well. He plays all of he played it in Kabi Road. He did all. And you see, he has Danny Jr. Who played the keyboard fantastic for him? He has uh, Ida. Oh, she seems beautiful for him. Why? These are loyal, dependable, trustworthy people who are filling the gap and making this work easier. God is raising you to make the work of this church easier. Hallelujah. I said, God is raising you to make the work of this church easier. Let's look at point number four. Then we close. Point number four. Are you being blessed? Point number four. Then we close. The water you brought is too big in that country. I drink that bottle only on Thursday, not on Sunday. Sunday when I went, Sunday when I went Thai, I should be treated like like a king. 
Okay. Did you hear what I said? Okay. Yes. Mama, moi. Sunday when I wear tie, I should be treated like a king, not big bottle like this. I can I have a choice? Mama, moi. Can I have a choice? Yes. Look at this big bottle. The point number four I want to make today is that loyalty is very necessary to have a large and successful ministerial team. Hallelujah. I said loyalty is very necessary. We need loyalty to have a large ministerial and what? A successful team. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One man can only do just a little. Are you here with me? Yes. One pastor can only be at one place at what? At a time. Bishop Dad can only be at one place at a time. But today, this morning, as Bishop Dag was preaching, okay, I'll close. As Bishop Dag was preaching at Kodesh, other people were preaching in Tanzania, Morocco, Zambia, Nigeria, Accra, Kumase, just mentioned the United States of America, tens of thousands of pastors, all preaching. What does that mean to you? means that God has found loyal people for us. People you can depend on. People you can trust. People who say that I believe in the vision that God has given to this man and I will also want to run with it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we need such people. Now listen to me. It will be far better to have one loyal person than to have a group of this gentle, this loyal, double faced, double tongue, this united group of people behind you. Yes. It will always be better to stand alone. If, look, if all of you here were disloyal, mm -hmm. uh, I will, uh, when I come, I'll sing the song alone. When I finish, I'll play the guitar alone. I'll do everything alone. But you see, God has given me faithful people. Amen. That's why I don't do much. That's why you all do something. This one is counting money. This one is doing this. This one is serving water. This one is coming early to clean the place. This one is coming to arrange. This one is putting this. Everybody is doing something. That's how we build a church. To have a successful team. A team that will continue this great work that God is doing. We need loyal people. I showed you how God is doing great and mighty things in the church. These things must be sustained. We need a powerful successful uh, ministerial team that believe in the concept of loyalty. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> loyalty is very necessary because we need or because we want to have a mega church. We don't want to be small. We said we shall not be one. We want to have a mega church. Are you there with me? As we stand right now, like I said, we are all over the world. Two, more than 2,000 churches. We are getting to 3,000. Watch out very soon. We'll announce our 3,000 church. That this is number 3,000 church. Then you will know that we are not small. We shall not be one. I said we shall not be one. We shall not be few. Hallelujah. Churches are a part of a network. Look, the church in the U.S., the church in Tanzania, the church in Botswana, the church in Accra, the church in Gambosu, the church, the church in where? From Bodiaba to Chok. All of them, they are part of the network. It's a mega church. I was telling you, when I go anywhere in the world, all I have to do is to tell the bishop of that uh, uh, denomination, I'm in town. I'm in town. Hallelujah. Amen. And all I have to do is that I just to say I'm in town. And when I open my mouth to say I'm in town, Charlie, work has started. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we are a mega church. The mega church exposes you to greater blessings. In the mega church, there are more marriages. 
in the mega church. Oh, I will allow Claudia to go and sing in uh, Kanishi. In the event that a brother was spotted. Hey, hey. Uh, oh, you want, you want Kadesh? Okay. Claudia, Kadesh, where? Airport, you want airport? If you are not finding your husband here, I will connect you to uh, 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 airport here. <laughs> it, because it's a mega church. Yes. What, what do you think? Yes. If you are not getting a job here, look. If Mr. Marco had tried everything and still the job he's giving you, you don't like it. I just have to connect to somebody in another branch. That Charlie knows. I have a brother here. He's skilled in computer. What do you think? Shall I try and connect him for me? Yeah. Even if he is not able, he said, look, let me also talk to Brother Kwesi. Kwesi in, uh, no, I think Kwesi is now in uh, Bishop Intefo's church. Charlie Kwesi, Bishop Sly said that Charlie is a guy, he is very good, but he's a guru in computer. What do you think? Yeah. So, oh, Charlie, I need somebody like that. Yeah. If Kwesi, uh, uh, Reverend Kwesi also said that, no, 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 no. Look, I know somebody who needs someone. Is it? It's a network of churches. Tell us about it's a network. I said it's a, it's a network. The connections are there. That's why I believe that everybody here will be married. I said I believe that everybody here will be married. But when you go, my daughters, listen to me. When you go, bring your husbands here. Now, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just bring your husbands here because we will connect you all. And some of our sons will marry you. I said, some of our sons will marry you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. The reason why royalty is very crucial to our church and what we are doing is to have a long lasting ministry. Hallelujah. Look, the Methodist church has survived, the Anglican church has survived. The Roman Catholic Church has survived. The Presby Church has survived. And Lighthouse or the Kodesh Family Church or the United Denomination of Lighthouse Group of Churches will survive. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The United Denomination of Lighthouse Group of Churches will survive. Because you see, we have learned the lessons of these Orthodox churches. And we are learning and copying them. Dito, dito. Why? We have found loyal people to represent us. Look, if our founding father dies, should Bishop die, dies, he will die one day. When he dies, this church will not die. I said this church will not die because this church has the bishop council that changes over every year. Every year there is a head. There is a, a, a head of the council. Who manages the affairs of the church? Everything that is happening in the church throughout the year, there is a head, a bishop council that is uh, leading everything that is happening. Hallelujah. Amen. Tomorrow, there is uh, uh, Daniel Paul going on at Mount Paul. Saturday, there is uh, 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 Laban also coming on. All of those things. It is being organized by a bishop council. We have the founding members they also have their board the founding members there are four we have bishop dad bishop saki bishop eddie adi and aunt mommy these are the founding uh, fathers of the church they stand and they give counsel do you understand what i'm saying and things work the way they must work if any of the look none of the bishop dad is not there it's not like oh uh, Bishop Saki is the one who is coming to take over the church. No, the church cannot be taken over by any individual. Bishop Dag has not any will that says that his son should become the leader of this church. No, there is a council. Tell somebody there is a council that seeks to the everyday running of the church. So we are not a people whose uh, who will be cut off? That's why we have a long lasting church that is going to grow. Your children will come, your children's children will come, and they will come and continue the church. Hallelujah! 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 The lighthouse 
church or the united denomination of lighthouse group of churches is going to live on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It does not depend on Bishop Dak. I'm reading. This is he wrote this. I'm not saying this for my head. Book. I'm reading him. He wrote this. He says, look, if you want me to read the way it was written here, listen to how it was written. He said that it does not depend on me. But I decided that it does not depend on Bishop Dak. Hallelujah. Amen. I have not built a church around my personality. These are his language. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. I have not built a church around my personality. The church would continue. None of us is indispensable. Hallelujah. Amen. God cannot do without us. Hallelujah. Amen. God can do without us. That is why we need to build a team of what? Loyal successors. Put your hands together for Jesus. God can do without us. God, he can do without us. That's why we need to build a team of what? Loyal successors. People that will take what today. Bishop said, that, look, today the simple message Bishop was telling everybody. This is it. This is the simple message he was telling everybody. We are training young people. Today, his message is just to make us understand that when you see young people taking over the church, doing this, doing that, no, no, don't be worried. We need people to take over the church. Loyal successes. That's why at the first land church, young people are being trained. Young people are being made to come into the pastoral so that this thing will continue. Do you want old, he said, he said, do you want old, gray-headed people to be sitting always around in this church? No. That's why I believe that Christian Bedu is a potential leader in this church. That's why I believe that uh, uh, Rachel is a potential leader in this church. You think that you are going to school, getting all those degrees for nothing? You are a potential leader in the church. Hallelujah. Miss Miss Chum, uh, 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 what's her first name? Wendy. Wendy Chum. Listen to me. You are a potential leader in this church. You are being trained at this level. I told those who are here that this church is a training church. We are on the training, being trained to take over. And the job training. I one day will see at the helm of affairs somewhere we will have Bishop Claudia. One day, that's why I believe that everybody must be involved because God is going to use everyone. We are looking for loyal successes. Loyal successes, people who will run with the church. Today, Bishop said, he said, look, I have only 14 years and I'll become 70. 14 years, two perfect numbers, and he said, I'll be 70. I'll be 70. I'll be 70. And because of that, we need to train people. We need to train people. We need people like you who would carry the mantle and do the work of ministry. Finally, we need loyal people to run the affairs, or we need loyalty in order to reap our full reward. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. That's why I was telling you from the beginning. Begin to be grateful. Don't mama. Have a full of grat a heart full of gratitude, full of memory. Because the blessings that comes to those who are faithful, it comes to us here and after. God would make those of us who would be in this. Those of us who continue the good work that God has given, this marvelous work that God is rafting through the hands of our bishop. Those of us who will stay to continue and to hold the hand of the bishop, listen to me, you'll be rewarded. Amen. I said you will be rewarded. Amen. You will be rewarded. Amen. Out of this, you will build your house. Amen. I said out of this, you will, you, will be, you will not be able to count the businesses that you will establish. Amen. Because you are learning the strategy of networking. Amen. You are learning the strategy of finding loyal people to take over the mandate, the mandate of uh, leadership. 
you are trading photocopies of yourself. People who will be there to do the work for you. And you will say that, ah, I learned this thing from loyalty. Your reward is here and now. Amen. I said, your reward is here and now. Amen. Because of your loyalty and your faithfulness, God will reward you. Amen. There are people who are sitting in the positions of some people who should have been blessed. Amen. You know why? Because they left. They left the church. The position Bishop Saki is occupying. The position Bishop Saki is occupying. It used to be for somebody. The person was disloyal, did not believe in the teachings of the bishop, gathered from people. When bishop is preaching, they are laughing and they are mocking at him. But the bishop told him that, Master, today is today. Today is the last day. We are ended. We are fired. We are fired. Today, we are fired. We are moving. When they told him that this is your last day, he's told him that, you know, this is how bishop said that. The first one, he said that, your, 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 we have relieved you of your duties. That's how he puts it. He started, he said, it, Bishop sometimes behaves like this. Oh, you have been relieved of your duty. He said, oh, why? He said, oh, then he said, okay. Then I will come to church. And I will come and say, ah, you will, you will come to church. Okay, maybe you didn't understand me well. From today, you are fired. <laughs> he was fired because he was disloyal, disgruntled, gathered people. He, was, he divided the church. And he took some numbers to go and start his church. Six months along the line, everybody ran away from the church and came back to, came back to the Dead Lighthouse. 